Hang on one, UFO files, underground bases. Do you see New Mexico, the location of controversial incident? Now many believe the conspiracy, the secrecy, and possible murder. Events all centered around a government contractor named Phil Schneider. Phil Schneider was a geologist, a structural engineer. He worked on many D-U-M-B-S, deep underground military bases. In 1970, Schneider was assigned to build a new D-U-M-B for the government in southern end of Deuce near Clarkland Air Force Base. While drilling the earth, uh, bill bits repeatedly break as those striking reinforced material. Eventually, Schneider is lowered down with the crevice to investigate. Other fields lowered in the shaft. He claims he found himself in a pre-existing underground structure. In Phil's own words, I'm lowered down in a cage. Think about this. First, the shadow drops into a hole. Or you find yourself a fully formed underground facility face to face with aliens. What do you, what would you do? He simply pulled his high arm. He had a, he had a Walter PPK. And then he fired. Shadow goes to say that he finds himself in a firefight. Shadow so claims an extraterrestrial waved his hand over his chest and made a laser like beam that shot out and burned through his out hand hand, being in part his chest. A Delta Force soldier suddenly appeared and sacrificed his life by shoving Phil to a cage that raised him to the surface. Can you imagine an underground firefight between aliens and US soldiers? He is shared as an engineer caught in the midst of it. He has the scars to prove it. So Shadow's story begs the question, could we be secret underground bases? Could we see alien life and evidence of UFOs? MUFO on opens its files right now. You've a mutual UFO network known as MAFON. It's an independent organization not bound by any government. It should investigate reports of UFO sightings around the world. Well, in the past five decades, on the road the past five decades, they collected over more than 70,000 files, secured at a location as Hangar 1. For the first time, MAFON is granting access to the vast, their vast archive. These are the files of Hangar 1. So, I mean, files inside Hangar 1, a sudden possibility begins to merge. Well, we tend to look up the sky for evidence of UFOs and extraterrestrial life. Perhaps we should look it down because within the files there's documentation of secret underground bases and maybe hiding your foes and alien activity through such a story may sound like stuff of science fiction. For fifteen years he remained silent. Through Snyder's security clearance prohibited him for talking about what he worked on publicly. But he knew that if he did, he would be breaking the law and putting him like a risk, life at risk. He felt his information needed to be shared because he said, I care more about my country than my life. Their foreign files revealed that in 1995, soon as Snyder goes public, he suspects he's been targeted. He believes the shadow individuals and governments have made attempts on his life, trying to keep him from speaking out of this, on this issue. One time his car lost the wheel and flipped on the highway. Phil later discovered that someone had sawed up one of the lug nuts in half. And then on January 17th, 1996, Phil Schneider found dead in an Oregon apartment. The death had caused the death of initially caused a stroke. When Schneider's ex-wife denied access to the body, she begins to expect cell play to balance the Farrow autopsy. The autopsy would significantly change the coroner's report. Phil wrapped around Phil's neck was a rubber cafe ring robing. The official cause of death has changed to suicide, but many people, including Sir's ex wife, believe he was murdered. The official cause of Phil's of death remains a controversial thing, and some questions his death connected his claims of underground alien presence. There have been, there's a lot of people who say there's nothing out there. Though ground penetrating radio did indicate there might have been. I think Phil Shiny is interesting. He's a little bit problematic, problematic in terms of some of the things he said. On the other hand, the man was murdered. My opinion is no question about it. Phil Shiny was not a suicide. Why would he be mur- not be murdered? 
does not make sense unless he was some credence his basic story. So I don't doubt Sarani for Schneider's story. It is in fact the long history of deep underground bases that goes back even fur- much further. Capability to make deep underground base or under floor, ocean floor base absolutely there has existed for a long time. Here she said to stretch as far back as World War II to the heart of Nazi Germany. Though that Germans had a number of underground bankers, and she pioneered the whole idea of a deep underground bases. It believed that they may have had an underground research station in the Antarctic. Hangar 1 files contain the story of U.S. naval expedition of battles and UFO, forcing a highly decorated admiral to build, burn his fleet around. Another witness comes forward to put support for the account of an alien base beneath Deuce, New Mexico. More than 70,000 files contained in Hangar 1 been opened for the first time. Ralph Val reveals the incredible story of Phil Snyder. He claimed he had a violent encounter with against terrestrials or deep inside a secret underground base. In nineteen ninety six, less than a year after he goes public, he's found dead. Base the side of described as an isolated case. Or could have there been a pattern on the ground bases throughout the US? Around the world Mafron Fowles revealed that history of the underground bases dates back to Nazi World or two, so actually pioneered the whole idea of deep underground bases. He known that Germans had a number of underground bases that believed they had underground research station in Arctic. Antarctic. 1946 US Navy plays that tradition of frigid ice of Antarctica. There are reports that they were secret objected to investigate the remembrance of a Nazi base. The expedition is called Operation High Jump. Operation Jump is U.S. Navy program took place after World War II, building a number of aircraft carriers, the naval vessels, small ten engine plane airplanes, built in small ve- in or no, the, 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 the naval vessels, six hundred fifty men, thousand men brought to Antarctica. So the story goes here with a ferret out of the last faction of Nazi regime. Operation High Jump, High Jump is also documented by the KG. KBG, a full of the Soviet Union, the KBG released previously classified UFO files. See, one of these Russian UFO files is classified in 1981. The information about it revealed the US submission to Antarctica. Operation High Jump was organized and led by Admiral A. E. Byrd, a naval, an American naval officer famously set polar explorations. Admiral Byrd's Ever Richard Bird was pilot and pilot polar explorer. He served in the Navy for over 20 years in both World War One, World War Two, and seen he even had a Medal of Honor. Receipt Bird is leading the, the largest expedition in the U.S. has never assembled to Antarctica. But the lazy feat of the operation of Operation High Jump approaches the, the German base. The encounter. More than not just Nazis, and disclassified file by Soviet spies is entrenched in Operation High Jump. It reported that the UFO came out of the water at a 55 degree angle and flew at some tremendous speed, immeasurably outside the 250 mile radius that the radar had. It returned, a battle was sued. A battle of casualties. When it retreated, the craft was also retreated. Six weeks ago, the mission, it's a mission that cancelled it. It packed up and went back to America. It wasn't. If they hadn't, we hadn't treated, feeling was a ship, was a UFO, would have sunk our fleet. The files are contain additional information about Admiral Byrd, Operation High Jump. Could you reports about the rival spoke to some uh, American journalists reflecting what he encountered that day. Newspaper reported a person he interviewed Admiral Byrd, and he stated that he would have the face of enemy could travel from pole to pole at incredible speed. Better in a bitter reality that the case of the new war Come to the United States been attacked by flying subjects, which can fly from pole to pole at incredible speeds. Well, didn't Admiral Byrd see that he was there, that he could make the flame with a saucer shaped vehicle, could travel at pole to pole at incredible speed? Derry locked up in the Pentagon, not allowed to see anyone to see. I'm not, it's not allowed for anyone to see. When you look back at this event, it appears that when our fleet got close to the naval base, attacked by a UFO, can you show them? For whatever reason, UFO was defending naval base. Since World War II, rumours have persisted that Jersey Germany, First Nation, went into military extraterrestrial reliance. It's true that this contact provided violences, military edge, is not a 
believed the Nazis during World War II, World War II were working with very advanced technologies, including anti-gravity, and some that didn't that technology may be more advanced than that of the Americans had. And they do doing all kinds of biological experiments on human beings, of course. We know. Also doing very unusual types of physics. Some of these physics appear to have to do with propulsion technology. With stories of something called the cockle, a bell a device that created so to create a kind of electric magnetic field that seemed to be able to play with my gravity and possibly even allow it to levitate. It's unclear if the UFO in Antarctica connected to Nazis, but it's an extraordinary incident. It's not isolated. In fact, it mirrors other sightings of UFOs measuring under sea bases. One base said to be located very close to home. There could be eagle reports indicating an underwater base near Cantala Island. We know the United States Navy in the mid a late in the sixties commissioned an artist actually to draw sketches of hypothetical open o- under ocean insulation so they so when then under the ocean floor so the end of the seas bases east of the coast of California hang out one falls where it could be hidden there with another so underground base hidden but plain sight east of Denver International Airport. Methon files reveal pattern possible underground bases across the globe. Clean that they say was a Nazi base in Antarctica. But some of the most extraordinary reports are here, right here in America. One named the wave base, said to be just off the coast of South California. There are many, there's some very good documentary reports indicating it may, in fact, be, may be fat, be an underwater race near Catalina Island. In the United States Navy in the mid late 1960s, commissioned an artist actually to draw sketches of hypothetical under ocean ventilation. So about that, that, that then under the ocean floor. Whether they built this or not, we don't know, but the fact is they didn't really see that it was an outrageous position, possible position, because it was well within their means. Everybody was there. Really, any issue you have to. A permanent undersea cholesterol base is oxygen and energy. The oxygen is no big deal. We know how to extract action from water. Been able to do it for the last 50 years. Now nuclear submarines can, that's how so nuclear submarines can stay in the water for months at a time. And there's another thing, is energy. Well, it's either, it's a small nuclear source of energy. There you go. You can get a firm and firm source of energy from Earth that you set. All set, you got reports of scuba divers and people on the coast of Catalina Island to see flying saucers pop out of the ocean. Hover there for 30 to 60 seconds and fly away high rate of speed. I know it's reported seeing craft emerge from the ocean, hover out just about the waves and launch smaller flying saucers. And 60 seconds later, the whole thing submerges. There's a long history of QFS for this. USO cases from within Catalina's island. Area it took it back, goes back years. It's one night when it tells the story of driving along the coast, which is a large glowing cylindrical object. He watches it and suddenly goes to so nose dive into water. Doesn't make any sound, doesn't make any splash. It goes below the surface. It leaves a green lucent lucent trail. Mysterious UFO sightings continue to form a few murmurs on underground base near Catalina. But some underground bases are not secret at all, although their purpose may not be so clear. But it's not underground bases. U.S. houses the Charity Mountain, well, Wyoming, Charity Mountain Complex, a nuclear bunker. The created during the Cold War. It's located at a granite mountain designed to withstand a 30 megaton nuclear explosion. It stands over five acres tunneled under the mountain. We enter the Charity Mountain, you read it by a long road, Further down the road, you're greeted by a very thick steel door. Blast plates connected and embedded within the flat door. Hardened steel pins that take a nuclear strike directly to the mountain itself. We're told by many, many sources. It's a gigantically, gentle them, clearly, with his own infrastructure. The main chambers create a red rectangular grid. With multiple buildings, each three stories high, they're connected by multifaceted tunnels. No, absolutely, they can contain a small city for a few months. At least 300 people can live there for a few months. Charity Mountains are originally constructed, run several underground bunkers designed to secure our government in the event of nuclear catastrophe. 
Right even after the end of the Second World War, war the United States military was actively planning and developing some significant in the deep underground bases, a time to defend ourselves against nuclear attack. Jogging mountains were later adapted to a NORAD facility to protect the whole ditch entering U.S. space base. My main question main as to what goes on there. The facility could actually be perfect for monitoring UFO activity. They, were, they set up track inco- incoming track ballistic modules, which means they are naturally equipped to detect one other threats coming from space. Turkey mountains are just of many known underground bases. A rumor's ointment accounts raise speculation in the existence of even more top secret bases. There is a Sentinel 172 pilot who said he saw the vegetation ground of a nearby area open like, like a zipper. Hanging among files undercover more patterns suggested a network of underground bases through the US. When standing with amongst the government, they gate these buildings and secrets are contained hidden with Hanger 1 or files suggests there is actually a network of secret underground bases throughout the United States, the United States. Military acknowledges the underwater base, ground bases, such as Treasury Mountain, where the defend American event of a catastrophic war. Also, underground bases hidden from the public. There are methods of hiding these bases greater than anything imaginable. Right around 1932, the Celsa 1972 pilot was flying out not far from the Aberdeen proving ground. He claimed he had seen an emergency landing near one of these dirt roads. Just before touchdown, he stated he saw vegetation and ground nearby area open up like a zipper. And so the ground actually was moving, it was coming apart. He saw a type of camouflage underground base opening. He looked inside, he didn't see it. He didn't, he didn't say he saw flying saucers, but it's definitely an underground facility there. Well, in his pilot saw, his own eyes cannot be denied. I mean, you can imagine seeing the ground open by his, uh, up like a zipper if you're on an underground base. You cannot forget a thing like that. Make you wonder what's going on down there. Think about the utility of having a custine deep underground base. You've got total security for prying eyes. Mafton Fowles suggests that all these underground bases contain an intricate system of giant tunnels that connect multiple facilities across America. It comes to a retired general, electric engineer, Decades of experience. He claimed that his part of the underground program towed a V-52 in an underground tunnel from Plant 32 to Edwards, but though no base complex. Interesting point is they were going through this tunnel. He said there were four connecting shafts to one he was in, and he said two of these shafts are twice as big as the ones that he was in. It could put two B-52s right side by side and have six feet on each wingtip. That was back in 1992. In addition to these massive tunnels, the files contain reports files underground transformation, transportation systems, which travel with extraordinarily high speeds. Other reports indicate that it is connecting high-speed microphone train system using not only electrographic graphics, but something that has recently been proposed, where talking air out, Turning into vacuum, getting very high speeds over six, seven hundred miles per hour. A good friend from Keller, who's a UFO researcher, who met an aerospace engineer in Palmdown, California, where he lives. This gentleman used to work on a little speed crew. Every day he'd go down the elevator, the tunnel whisked off to Nevada to work. Return that evening in the same office. He never left out to California. Where could he? Uh, uh, so should we ask ourselves why our flying airline is going 405 miles an hour when the weather can be completely independent of weather go, going perhaps over 700 miles an hour? This has been going on for decades. Could his secret could have been world well exist below our feet? Methodon revealed that our rumored underground base may actually be hidden in plain sight beneath the Denver International Airport. 
Don't be international about this treasure trove conspiracy theorists. Event definitely rumours circulating there might be an underground intelligent base alien the holding area, I don't know. Could Denver International Airport be the site of a top secret underground base? When we turn, do you understand inside the Mephis underground hangar? And one files of contain information. Claim a network of underground bases connected by massive files, tunnels and transformation systems. This is for the United States. The files indicate that not only every base is a military, military base. One long rumored underground base is said to be hidden, placed site beneath the busy Denver International Airport. Denver International Airport is also in, in, an interesting case. There is plenty of red flags of searches and usual construction protocols because it's creating enormous, accessible underground facilities. I mean, it really makes you stop and think, ask if there's any more out there that meets an eye. I heard a creepy story of a guy got an elevator. You need to use a restroom. You push the button. You felt that he was in the elevator for a very long time. Finally, the doors opened up. He gone and came to the foyer in this grand walkway. He didn't see anybody. He didn't hear anything. He saw a restroom sign. You went into it. You were in as a massive. I mean, it's like a mess, men's room. They were huge. They too high enough for a man like him. So he figured it was designed, you know, for something a little bit, not bigger than human. I terrified him. Got back to the elevator and went back up. So the rumors circulating there might be underground intelligence based alien holding area on Denver International Airport. Jeffrey Rove. Could appear as various. The airport was millions of dollars over budget. It was years late. It's out of the middle, middle of nowhere. It's not accessible to no downtown Denver. So why would it be the case? The rumours that Denver International Airport is cover up for deep inter- underground facility. This is still going to this day. What I hired about Denver International Airport is construction workers with working on site. Only hired to do a certain job. They are stayed off. Another person will come in. So nobody knew what was going on. I would say there's definitely a base that's under there. We have informed about a long runway. Five separate buildings are connected by miles of travels. It was abandoned because of its archaeological problem, architectural problems. Structures are all buried near the ground, accessible to airport personnel. Why? The reason they gave us biohazard or fungal outbreak. They're still accessible today. And it is intrigue. My film files also contain theories about artwork with an import may contain graphic warnings of understanding some future. So murals are inside Denver International Airport just raise more questions than answers. Shows like The Ultimate Doom and Gloom of World War Two Three. You see the Dare Freder guy holding a sword he's in a dove. I mean, every time I walk by, I go, What the fuck? We've got killer aliens, abandoned children. Very easy to interpret this as a warning message about this horrible plan for aliens to take the world. Controversial artwork being removed, but many questions remain. If there is a secret underground basis, do is this. There might be hiding evidence of UFOs and extraterrestrials. That's Phil Schneider's drops in the hole to find himself in a fully formed air underground facility in face to face with aliens. Muffin files contain an account, yet another eyewitness. Thomas Casello also claims to have evidence of an underground alien base. But like Phil Snyder's story, it's also too located in Deuce, Deuce, New Mexico. Casello's took photos of the underground base. The files of may reveal that may be the most controversial information yet. A generation between government and extraterrestrials. Hang on, Thorns. Our circle of files reveals a pattern to a network of deep underground bases and they exist. Then some of the locations may be UFOs and extraterrestrials. Files include reports from a number of first hand witnesses, addition to Full Snyder. Money of Snyder was bent public, he found dead in an apartment. Or well, other question Phil Snyder's story, he is the only witness he claims of being inside a secret underground base. But he showed a deuce. Nineteen seventy nine, another the same year Full Snyder claims and the ground be an underground firefight with the other government contractor. Thomas Costello says he's also information about Dice's network on a round basis. Thomas Costello began his career in military. 1971 is of the high security level position of Rand of a corporation. Rand Corporation has been done since World War II was involved in developing on a round basis for the military 
Carlos' story goes to say he's working in an underground base in Juicy, New Mexico. The security expert with ultra high occurrence could still have access to multiple levels within the Juice uh, network base. What Costello sort of claims is what there shocks him. The various equipment surveys so being conducted. Aeroic low energy fields of human astral of spirit body of origin and manipulation, advanced mind control analysis, application, human brain memory recognition, acquisition transfer, matter transfer, alien alien embryonic cloning. What are you reporting finds we probably finds convinced with Roto the public most horrifying level. Nightmare hole. So the has humans kept in cages. Because they were told is to help people with mental disorders. We recognize someone from his hometown who disappeared without his explanation. He knew he was to, trying to blow the whistle. Is there any evidence this is actually happening? Because they took photos of the underground base. He used his knowledge of the underground system to escape with his evidence. Because Sutter believes he's betrayed by his co-workers. Government agents were already waiting for him at his home. When Sutter showed up, he told him he'd never see his family again. That he gave him the documents he had stolen. Because Sutter had no choice but to comply. So as Kalu has since disappeared, his whereabouts are currently unknown. He left behind a compilation of his story. Now the Deuce Papers. Deuce Papers makes a strange claim. The US government is working, actually working in collaboration with extraterrestrials. According to Colonel this is a joint USA alien command base. The relationship was tremendous, tenderous at the start. We believe that the most, there will be more advanced ETs, the other ones in the charge. They are using the US government and working together. It may not be, we may not be even in charge. Think about the implications of this. What does it mean if our government knows and involved in these kinds of experiments? Phil Stanley reportedly murdered. Thomas Cassello, the speed of that trace. The honest consensus, or oh, there is a government campaign to bury these secrets hidden beneath their feet. One of the reasons Phil believed he was in the military crosshairs is because he was openly discussing his belief. The military not only knew about his officials, who were working with him for the decades, Meanwhile, proof existence of a base in Deuce, New Mexico, was not materialized. To date, there is no official statement regarding the existence of an underground facility at Deuce, New Mexico. However, there were multiple eyewitnesses describing by headquarters and other strange vehicles within the local area. Mathon, files documenting underground and overseas bases might seem outrageous. And yet, eyewitnesses... The original testimonies of declassified documents, just as credible events, may be taking place beneath our feet. At very least, the case files raise the possibility there may be underground secrets as serious as UFOs that fly above us.